Happy Sabbath, everyone. Segnen Sabbath alle zusammen. Let's open with a silent prayer. Lass es mit einem stillen Gebet an. Okay, if we go to the notes that I've posted. Wenn wir zu den Notizen gehen, die ich gepostet habe. So, these last weeks, um, we've been looking at this subject about Jerusalem. Diese letzten Wochen dann haben wir uns das Thema über die uh, über Jerusalem angeschaut. And in fact, it's just a culmination of this greater theme about understanding the difference between Jerusalem and Babylon. Right? Das ist eigentlich ein um, Höhepunkt diesen Unterschied zwischen Jerusalem und Babylon zu verstehen. Because these are the, the these are the two cities, right? Weil das sind diese zwei Städte. They are the two covenants. Das sind die zwei Bündnisse. These are these two kings, the north and the south, that are fighting for supremacy in this earth. Das right? sind die zwei Könige, also der Norden und der Süden, die nach der Oberherrschaft auf dieser Erde äh, kämpfen. A king has a kingdom, right? Ein König hat ein Königreich. He has a throne and he sits. Someplace, right? Er hat einen Thron und er sitzt auch irgendwo. And both those kings, Christ and Satan, are fighting to sit on the throne of our hearts. Beide right? dieser Könige, sowohl Christus als auch Satan, die kämpfen, um auf dem Thron unseres Herzens zu sitzen. Okay, so this morning we're going to look at uh, this topic, uh, salvation is of the Jews. Heute right? Morgen wollen wir uns das Thema darüber anschauen, dass die Errettung von den Juden kommt. Because just like um, this. Uh, understanding of this false temple. Right? Wie das Verständnis des, des falschen Tempels. There's also an understanding about the false people of God, right, who are the Jews, right? Es auch ein Verständnis über die falschen, uh, also das falsche Volk Gottes, was die Juden sind. And it's present truth at the moment because this, this, um, illust this plan of of the South that these these globalists uh, they are trying to put into place. Right. Das ist im Moment gegenwärtige Wahrheit, weil das ist dieser falsche Plan der Globalisten, dass sie das an den Platz setzen. Okay, and it, it involves us to understand the correct understanding of who are the Jews, right? Deswegen müssen wir eben verstehen, also ein richtiges Verständnis darüber haben, wer die Juden sind. Okay, so let, let's begin by going to this first heading. Wir fangen an, indem wir zu der ersten Überschrift gehen. It says, what constitutes Babylon, right? Also, aus was besteht Babylon? No, we looked at this quote a couple of days ago. Wir haben uns right? vor ein paar Tagen die, uh, das schon angeschaut. It says, how Satan would exult to have a message go broadcast that the only people whom God has made the repositories of his law are the ones to whom the message, this message applies. The wine of Babylon is the exalting of the false and spurious Sabbath above the Sabbath which the Lord Jehovah hath blessed and sanctified for the use of man. Also, it is the immortality of the soul. These kindred heresies and the rejection of the truth convert the church into Babylon. So, <clears throat> It says Satan would exult to have the people who have been given the truth, right, to exalt Sunday over the Sabbath, right? Es sagt, dass Satan sich freuen würde, wenn die Leute, denen die Wahrheit gegeben wurde, dass sie den Sonntag erheben anstatt den Sabbat. Now, if you just turn in Galatians, to Galatians chapter 3, right? Wenn ihr in der Bibel zu Galater 3 geht, and here we can see this ultimately being typified Und hier können wir das letztendlich also vorausbeschattet sehen okay, verse 1. Galater 3 und Vers 1 It says O foolish Galatians who are the Galatians Wer sind die Galater 
the foolish, right? The parable of the ten virgins begins here, right? Where do the foolish virgins manifest themselves? Wo manifestieren sich die törichten Jungfrauen? No, here. Here. This is where it first begins. Five were wise and five were foolish, right? Also fünf waren weise, fünf waren töricht. The wise took oil in the vessels with the lamps, but the foolish didn't, and they manifested right here, right? Die Weisen haben Öl in ihre Gefäße mitgenommen, aber die Törichten nicht, und das haben sie dann hier manifestiert. It says, O foolish Galatians, who hath bewitched you that ye should not obey the truth before whose eyes Jesus Christ hath been evidently set forth crucified among you? So when they crucify Christ, what have they done? Wenn sie Christus gekreuzigt haben, was haben sie getan? They rejected the truth. Die right? Wahrheit verworfen. Okay. This only would I learn of you. Received ye the Spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith? Are ye so foolish, having begun in the Spirit, ye are now made perfect by the flesh? So when they begun in the Spirit, what did they enter into? Als sie im Geist begonnen haben, in was sind sie eingetreten? The Sabbath, in right? Sabbat. right? The true rest, right? Die wahre, die wahre Ruhe. But when they come here, now what are they exalted? Wenn sie jetzt hierhin kommen, was erheben sie hier? Sunday. Den Sonntag. Okay, right? And th this is the, this this point, right? Das ist dieser Punkt. Satan exalts when God's true people uh, become Babylonians, right? Satan freut sich, wenn Gottes uh, wahre Volk Babylonier werden. They, they reject their past experience and they turn back to the, their error, right? Sie ihre vergangene Erfahrung verwerfen und zurück zu ihrem Irrtum kehren. Okay, so let's go to the next head, the history in action, right? Gehen wir zur nächsten Überschrift, Geschichte in Aktion. In John 1 and verse 1. Johannes 1 und Vers 1. It says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. <laughs> So what was in the beginning? Was war am Anfang? The word. Das Wort. Right? Okay, and it's the revelation, right? Das ist die Offenbarung. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. So when that light comes there, What did they what did they not do? Wenn das Licht da kommt, was haben sie nicht getan? They didn't comprehend it, right? Sie haben es nicht verstanden. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. Right? So, at the beginning here, right, when the people come out of Egypt and have this baptism, right? Am Anfang, wenn die Leute aus Ägypten kommen und ihre Taufe haben. There to be a light to the... Sein sie ein to Licht the whole world, right? Die ganze Welt sein. But does the world receive them? Aber erhält die Welt sie? No, right? Nimmt sie sie auf? Nein. It's all, as soon as it comes, they're already beginning to reject the truth, right? Also, sobald es kommt, fangen sie schon an, die Wahrheit zu verwerfen. And as long as you hold on to error, you are in Babylon, right? Und solange du an Irrtum festhältst, bist du in Babylon. You're not accountable for it until you finally reject The exceeding bright light, right? Du bist dafür nicht verantwortlich, bis du dann letztendlich das überaus helle Licht ablehnst. Okay, but you can see right from the moment Christ came, his people, the Jews, already began to reject it, right? Wir können sehen, dass äh, gleich von Anfang an, als Christus kam, da haben die Juden, also sein eigenes Volk, ihn schon angefangen zu verwerfen. Okay, we go to John 14, verse 6. Wenn wir zu Johannes 14, Vers 6 gehen. It says, Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, The truth and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So in John 1, he's the word, right? In Johannes 1 is er das Wort. And thy word is truth. Und dein right? Wort ist Wahrheit. Christ says, I am the truth, right? Jesus sagt, ich bin die Wahrheit. So by rejecting him, they reject the truth, also right? Indem sie ihn verwerfen, verwerfen sie die Wahrheit. Reject the truth, you reject him. Wenn du die Wahrheit verwirfst, verwirfst du ihn. Okay. So, go to John 8, 
Geht zu Johannes 8. In Vers 43. Vers 43. It says, why do ye not understand my speech? Even because ye cannot hear my word. Ye are of your father the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. So, why are they... Why is he saying that they're of the of the father the devil? Also, warum sagte dass sie von ihrem Vater dem Teufel sind? Yes, because they're not accepting the truth, right? Weil sie die Wahrheit nicht annehmen. They don't understand, right? Sie verstehen nicht. Okay. So this is point Lawrence was making this morning. Error brings dissension and strife. Right? Und das ist der Punkt, den Bruder Lorenz heute Morgen gemacht hat, dass eben Irrtum immer einen Zweifel und Streit bringt. Okay, so can two walk together lest they be agreed, right? Können zwei miteinander wandeln, es sei denn, dass sie übereinstimmen. So, Christ was walking a different path than they were walking, right? Christus ist einen anderen Pfad gewandelt, als sie es getan haben. It says, when he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, ye believe me not which which of you convinceth me of sin and if i say the truth why do you not believe me he that is of god heareth god's words ye therefore hear them not because ye are not of god and there's the crux of the matter right yes even the kern der ganzen sache in john 10 he said it a different way right in johannes 10 hat er das John 10, he said it a different way. In Johannes 10 hat er das auf eine andere Weise gesagt. He says, my sheep hear my voice, and another they will not follow. Meine right? Schafe hören meine Stimme, und einem anderen werden sie nicht folgen. So you've also got these two classes, right? Man hat also immer diese zwei Klassen. One hears the voice of the good shepherd, the other one follows the voice of the hireling. Die einen right? hören die Stimme des guten Hirtens, und die anderen die Stimme äh, folgen dieser Stimme des Mietlings. The hireling is this this father that they have, right? Dieser Mietling ist der Vater, den sie haben. The devil, der right? Teufel. He's a murderer. Er right? ist ein Mörder. And he is going to murder them or leave them to be murdered, der right? Wird sie, ähm, dann, also, zu, also um, umgebracht. Äh, wird sie ermorden oder sie sozusagen einfach... He's a hireling. He's going to leave, just mm -hmm. leave them alone and let them... Also er ist ein Mietling, der wird sie einfach allein lassen und umkommen lassen. Okay, go to Luke 9 and verse 22. Geht zu Lukas 9, Vers 22. Saying, the son of man must suffer many things and be what? Rejected of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be slain and be raised the third day. Okay, so all these illustrations here is speaking about the literal Jews. Right? Also all diese Darstellungen sprechen über die buchstäblichen Juden. The Jews that have this land there in Palestine, diese right? Die Juden, die dieses Land dort in Palästina haben. So, and it's the same people, right? Das sind dieselben Leute. Same, Volk. same, um, what's the word? I'm lineage, right? Also dieselbe Blutlinie. These people there today are the lineage, right, of these people in history, right? Die Leute da heutzutage sind eben von der Blutlinie von denen in der Geschichte. So who does it say the Bible their father is? Was sagt also die Bibel, was ist wer ist ihr Vater? Satan, right? Satan. Like and Satan is the dragon, right? Satan ist der Drache. Right, remember? We looked at this, right? Who's here at Christ's baptism? Erinnert euch, das haben wir uns angeschaut, wer ist da bei Christi Taufe? All three words, Scott. Alle drei. Okay, the, the son's been baptized, right? The Holy Spirit enters him and the father speaks, right? Der Sohn wird getauft, der Heilige Geist kommt in ihn hinein und der Vater spricht. Okay, and when you get here, wenn man hier hinkommt, who do we have? The counterfeit. Was ist die Fälschung? Wer ist da? The dragon, the beast and the false prophet, right? Der Drache, das Tier und der falsche Prophet. Father, son, 
and Holy Spirit, right? Vater, Sohn und Heiliger Geist. And he says, ye are of your father, the devil, right? Er sagt, ihr seid von eurem Vater, dem Teufel. Okay, we will see that in, in, in a moment, right? Wir werden das auch gleich noch sehen. Okay, so, next heading, the son of their father, Nächste right? Nächste Überschrift, der Sohn ihres Vaters. Uh, Matthew uh, 27, verse 21. Matthäus 27, Vers 21. The governor answered and said unto them, Whether of the twain will ye that I release unto you? They said, Barabbas. And what does Barabbas mean? Was bedeutet Barabbas? Son of the father. Sohn right? des Vaters. Okay, he's the son of his father, which would be Satan. Er ist right? der Sohn seines Vaters, und das wäre Satan. Pilate saith unto them, What shall I do then with Jesus, which is called Christ? They all say unto him, Let him be crucified. And the governor said, Why? What evil hath he done? But they cried out the more, saying, Let him be crucified. So Christ said, Ye, will, ye are of your father the devil. He was a murderer. Right? Also Christus hat gesagt, Ihr seid von eurem Vater, dem Teufel. Er war ein Mörder. And here they are fulfilling it. Right? Und hier erfüllen sie das. It says, um, When Pilate saw that he could prevail nothing, but that rather a tumult was made, he took water and washed his hands before the multitude, saying, I am innocent of the blood of this just person. See ye to it. Then answered all the people and said, His blood be on us and on our children. Right? And our children means the lineage, right? the descendants. Right? Unsere Kinder, das bedeutet eben, diese Nachkommen, also die Blutlinie. Then released he Barabbas unto them, and when he had scourged Jesus, he delivered him to be crucified. So who did they choose over Christ? Wen haben sie also über Christus gewählt? Remember, Christ is the Word. Erinnert euch, Christus ist das Wort. Who did they choose? Wen haben sie gewählt? Yes, it's true. They They chose Antichrist, Sie haben Antichrist the son of the father, Der right? Sohn des Vaters. Right? Here's Christ being baptized, there's Antichrist being baptized, right? Hier wird Christus getauft, hier wird Antichrist getauft. Ten kings lift up the head, right? Könige erheben das Haupt. Right, so, so what they're choosing, and it's, it's his wine That's all this error, right? Das wählen sie und das ist sein Wein, was all dieser Irrtum ist. So basically, by choosing Barabbas, what were they choosing? Also indem sie Barabbas gewählt haben, was haben sie gewählt? Choosing to hold on to false doctrine rather than the truth, sie right? Sie haben gewählt, an falschen Lehren festzuhalten, anstatt an der Wahrheit. Okay, so what did they become? Was, zu was sind sie also geworden? Babylon. Babylon. Okay, the Jews became Babylon, right? Die Juden sind Babylon geworden. Okay, let's go to this uh, first quote. Gehen wir zu dem ersten Zitat. It says, since the whole ritual economy was symbolical of Christ, it had no value apart from him. When the Jews sealed their rejection of Christ, there it is, they rejected him, right? Sie haben also Christus verworfen. By delivering him to death, they rejected all that gave significance to the temple and its services. Its sacredness had departed. It was doomed to destruction. From that day, sacrificial offerings and the service connected with them were meaningless. Like the offering of Cain, they did not express faith in the Savior. In putting Christ to death, the Jews virtually destroyed their temple. When Christ was crucified, The inner veil of the temple was rent in twain from top to bottom, signifying that the great final sacrifice had been made and that the system of sacrificial offerings was what? Forever at an end. Never to be done again, right? Now just go to Matthew 23, 27. And here's a parallel point, right? Ist ein Parallelpunkt. Because when Christ leaves the temple, it's also marking the destruction of Jerusalem. Weil right? wenn Christus den Tempel verlässt, dann markiert das auch die Zerstörung von Jerusalem. It's a parallel point to the cross. Ist ein right? Parallelpunkt zum Kreuz. 
Or Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets and stonest them which are sent unto thee, how often would I have gathered thy children together, even as a hen gathereth her chickens under her wings, and ye would not. Behold, your house is left unto you desolate, for I say unto you, ye shall not see me henceforth, till ye shall say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. So when's the next time the Jews are going to see Christ? Bis Vers 39, also was, wann ist dann die nächste Zeit, wenn die Juden Christus sehen werden? Not before. Bei der Wiederkunft, also nicht zuvor. All the sacrifices are at an end, right? Weil die Opfer sind um, am Ende. The temple's desolate. Der Tempel ist verwüstet. And the next time they're going to see him is at his second coming. Und das nächste Mal, wenn sie ihn sehen werden, ist bei der Wiederkunft. Right? Richtig. What do they what do the false prophets say that this was in 1848? Was haben die falschen Propheten gesagt, dass ähm, das in 1848 sei? No, they said it is the day of the Lord. Sie haben gesagt, es ist der Tag des Herrn. Which is the second coming of Christ. Das ist die right? Wiederkunft Christi. This is this Christ has come, right? Das ist Christus ist gekommen. Okay. And this is important, right? That, that we understand that, right? Because he doesn't come until the end. Das right? ist wichtig, dass wir das verstehen, weil er kommt erst am Ende. Okay. So it's it's written right there, right? Es steht hier geschrieben. So in the very first quote we read, how Satan would exult to have 70 Adventists looking to this point, right? Und wir haben in dem ersten Zitat gelesen, also wie Satan ähm, sich freuen würde, wenn sie im Tagsabendessen auf diesen Punkt hier blicken. Right, they, they will be looking to this little temple, sie right? Sie werden zu diesem buchstäblichen Tempel To schauen. Sunday worship, right? Zu der Sonntagsanbetung. Okay, to all, the, to, to all this Babylonian stuff that's going on here, zu right? Zu den ganzen babylonischen Dingen, die dort stattfinden. Okay. Go next head and choosing their king, right? Zu der nächsten Überschrift, ihren König wählen. And John 19, verse 14. Johannes 19 und Vers 14. It says, And it was the preparation of the Passover, and about the sixth hour, and he saith to the Jews, Behold your king. But they cried out, Away with him, away with him, crucify him. Pilate saith unto them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priest answered, We have no king but Caesar. Caesar. Right? So, in the Bible, how is Caesar illustrated? Also, wie wird in der Bibel Caesar dargestellt? The dragon, Durch den right? Drachen. Okay, he's their king, er right? Ist ihr König. And the son of the father was Barabbas, which they chose, right? Der Sohn des Vaters war Barabbas, den hatten sie gewählt. So Christ says, if you reject me, who do you also reject? Also Christus sagt, wenn ihr mich verwirft, wen verwirft ihr auch? The father that sent him, den right? Vater, der ihn gesandt hat. So they reject both the father and son and choose another father and son, right? Sie werfen sowohl den Vater als auch den Sohn und äh, wählen einen anderen Vater und Sohn. Right? They chose Satan and this his son, which is this woman that sits on the mind of the kings, Sie right? The wine of Babylon. Sie wählen Satan und seinen Sohn, also das ist diese Frau, die auf dem Verstand der Könige sitzt, dieser Wein Babylon. Right, right? Richtig. Okay, so go to this next quote. Gehen wir zum nächsten Zitat. It says, Virtually Caiaphas was no high priest. He wore the priestly robes, but he had no vital connection with God. He was uncircumcised in heart. Okay, so this is the key point, right? Er war unbeschnitten im Herzen, das ist eben der Schlüssel. Because circumcision points to... Weil die Beschneidung weist auf... What, what is ba baptism, Die right? Taufe. He was uncircumcised in heart. With the other priests, he instructed the people to choose Barabbas instead of Christ. They cried out for the crucifixion of Christ and as representatives of the Jewish nation, placed themselves under the Roman jurisdiction, which they despised by saying, we have no king but Caesar. When they said this, they unchurched themselves. Right? So no longer his church. Sie sind right? also nicht mehr länger seine Gemeinde. Now, 
the important point is at the end of the world who is Caesar. Und das Wichtige ist also am Ende der Welt wer ist Caesar? Y yes, or it's the it's the king of the the USA. Let's say that much, right? Trump, also es ist ähm, der König der USA. Okay, but we know that there's a war goes on there, and one moment is the king of the north, next moment is the king of the south, right? Ja, wir wissen, dass da ein Krieg stattfindet. In einem Moment ist es der König des Nordens, in dem anderen der König des Südens. Who's in power at the moment? Wer ist gerade jetzt an der Macht? King of the South. Der König des Südens. Who's their king at the moment? Wer ist ihr König, also gerade jetzt? God, you've answered it. But Biden, right? Biden. Okay, and we know that Biden is a globalist, right? Wissen, Biden ist ein globalist. We know that his plan is to exterminate this people, right? Wir wissen, sein Plan ist, dieses Volk auszulöschen. But by setting them against Islam, right? Indem er sie gegen den Islam aufwiegelt. And we read that Satan is a, is a hireling, right? Wir haben gelesen, Satan ist eben ein Mietling. And he will leave them to be murdered, right? <laughs> and that's their plan, right? He's going to set them against each other and then stand back and watch them all murder themselves, right? Right? That's the leader that they chose, right? Are they not looking to him for, for help? Schauen Sie nicht nach, äh, zu ihm äh, um Hilfe. And so, why are they looking to him, right? Ja, warum schauen Sie zu ihm? Because they rejected the true king, the only one that can really save them, right? Weil sie den wahren König verworfen haben, der einzige, der sie wirklich retten kann. And it's terrible, right? It's a terrible deception that's going on there, right? Schrecklich, eine schreckliche Täuschung, die dort stattfindet. I mean, when you look at it, the Jews, right? Wenn man sich das anschaut, also die Juden. You see, just from what we looked at, the Jews have chosen Satan as their leader. Wenn man right? sich das anschaut, die Juden haben Satan als Führer gewählt. Revelation 9:11. Who's who does it mark as the leader of Islam? Offenbarung 9, Vers 11. Wen markiert es dort als den Führer von dem Islam? The destroyer, Satan, der right? Zerstörer, also Satan. What about the United States of America? Was mit der USA? I'm asking the same question. What about the United States of America? Who's their leader? Wer ist der Führer von den USA? It's Satan, right? Satan. So you've got three groups, right? All there in this pod at the same time, all led by Satan. And what is the result? Es gibt also drei Gruppen dort und ähm, alle haben also Satan als Führer. Und was ist dann das Resultat? It's all error, right? Das ist alles Irrtum. So, strife and dissension, right? Also Streit und Entzweiung. War, murder, hatred, bitterness, all those things. That's his kingdom, right? Krieg, Mord, Bitterkeit, Hass, all diese Sachen sind sein Königreich. And how Satan would exult to have the only people that are the repositories of his truth look to those people as God's people, right? Würde sich Satan darüber freuen, wenn die einzigen, also die einzigen Leute, die diese, also seine Wahrheit haben, zu denen als Gottes Volk schauen. So, the question that I would ask is Satan exulting about many Seventh Day Adventists at the moment? Also die Frage, die ich stelle, also freut sich Satan über viele Sieben Tags Adventisten im Moment? Yes, for sure, right? Ja, sicher. Because they're all looking to this as a subject of Bible prophecy. Weil sie schauen alle dahin als ein Thema der biblischen Prophetie. I mean, it is a subject of Bible prophecy, but but not not in the sense that they're looking at it, right? Es ist ein Thema der biblischen Prophetie, aber nicht in dem Sinne, wie sie sich das anschauen. The subject of Bible prophecy is that they will look at it falsely. That's the subject of Bible prophecy. Right? Das Thema der biblischen Prophetie ist, dass sie sich das aber falscherweise anschauen. Okay, so go to this next quote. Gehen wir zum nächsten Zitat. It was not the hand of the priest that rent from top to bottom the gorgeous veil that divided the holy from the most holy place. It was the hand of God. When Christ cried out, it is finished, the holy watcher that was an unseen guest at Belshazzar's feast pronounced the Jewish nation to be a nation unchurched. Right? So what's it paralleling it with? Mit was setzt das parallel? The destruction of Babylon, right? Babylon. It's showing you that when you reject truth 
uh, reject, reject truth, sorry, you seal your fate, right? Das zeigt, wenn du Wahrheit verwirfst, dann besiegelst du dein Schicksal. And Christ gave them the greatest evidence that he was who he said he was, right? Christus hat ihnen den größten Beweis dafür gegeben, dass er das ist, was er gesagt hat, dass er sei. Sister White says very clearly, there is no second probation, right? Und Ellen White sagt sehr klar, es gibt keine zweite Gnadenzeit. Okay. Um, <coughs> The, the same hand that traced on the wall the characters that recorded Belshazzar's doom and the end of the Babylonian kingdom rent the veil of the temple from top to bottom, opening a new and living way for all, high and low, rich and poor, Jew and Gentile, from henceforth people might come to God without priest or ruler. Okay, so when this point happens, right, it opens the door, it closes probation for the Jewish nation, but opens the door now to everybody and anybody, right? Und dies geschieht, dann schließt es jetzt die Gnadentür für die Juden, aber es öffnet die Tür eben für jeden anderen. Including the Jews, right? Mit einem beschlossenen Juden. So, the Jewish nation as a nation was, was no more to be looked upon as a subject of Bible prophecy, right? Also die jüdische also die Juden als Nation, die sollten nie wieder als, also als Thema der biblischen Prophetie betrachtet werden. Individually, there was still time that, that many of them could repent and become Christians, right? Individuell gibt es immer noch ähm, Zeit für einige, dass sie Buße tun und Christen werden. But never again was the Jewish nation to be a subject of Bible prophecy, Aber nie right? wieder sollte die jüdische Nation als ein Thema der prophetischen Erzählung eben angeschaut werden. It was the type, es right? war ein Typus. Okay, we, we will come to that back at that in a moment, right? Wir werden da gleich noch mal drauf zurückkommen. Go to Daniel chapter uh, 9 and verse uh, 24. Geht zu Daniel Kapitel 9 Vers 24. It says and this is speaking about the Jewish nation, right? Das spricht über die jüdische Nation. Seventy weeks are determined upon thy people and upon thy holy city to finish the transgression and to make an end of sins and to make reconciliation for iniquity and to bring in everlasting righteousness and to seal up the vision and prophecy and to anoint the most holy. Know therefore and understand that from the going forth of the commandment to restore and to build Jerusalem unto the Messiah, the Prince, shall be seven weeks and three score and two weeks. Okay, in the 69th week, Messiah would come, right? In the 69. Woche sollte der Messias. At the end of the 69th week. Also am Ende davon. The street shall be built again on the wall, even in troublous times. After, and after three score and two weeks shall Messiah be cut off, but not for himself. And the people of the Prince that shall come shall destroy the city and the sanctuary, and the end thereof shall be with a flood. And unto the end of the war, desolations are determined. So, after the 62 weeks, which is after the 69th week, Christ was going to die, right? Nach 62 Wochen, was eben nach der 69. Woche war, sollte Christus sterben. But in verse 27, it explains it, right? Aber in Vers 27 erklärt es das. And he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week, and in the midst of the week he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease. Now that's what we read in the quote, right? Das haben wir auch im Zitat gelesen. The midst of the week, Christ crucified, offerings were no more accepted, right? In the middle of the week, Christ was crucified, and the offerings were no more accepted. And we read that when he, when he left the temple. It was marking the same point, right? They both become unchurched, right? Wir haben gelesen, wenn er, als er den Tempel verlassen hat, markiert es denselben Punkt. Also beide waren nicht mehr seine äh, Gemeinde. Because you just go back to verse 26. Bei beiden Mal, wenn wir zurück zu Vers 26 gehen. It says, and after three score and two weeks shall Messiah be cut off, but not for himself. That's the same point. When he's cut off, it's the midst of the week, right? Das ist derselbe Punkt, wenn er abgeschnitten wird, ist es die Mitte der Woche. It says, and the prince of the people that shall come shall destroy the city. So what's it paralleling him being cut off with? Also mit was jetzt ist das parallel, wenn er abgeschnitten wird? The destruction of Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. right? Zerstörung von Jerusalem. Shows you that this, the same point, right? Das zeigt dir, dass derselbe Punkt. Okay. Prophetically. Also prophetisch gesehen. Okay. So, and we read in those quotes, when, when he left the temple, 
marks the destruction of Jerusalem, right? Wir haben diese Zitate gelesen, als er den Tempel verlassen hat, markierte das die Zerstörung von Jerusalem. The temple was destroyed on Passover. Der Tempel wurde an Passa zerstört. He went to the cross as the Passover lamb, right? Er ist ans Kreuz, also als Passa lamb gegangen. Okay, it's the same point, right? Das ist derselbe Punkt. Okay, and it now opens the door for everybody, right? Und jetzt öffnet das das also die Tür für jeden. Including the Jews that were not guilty of rejecting him, right? Und ähm, eben mit eingeschlossen die Juden, die noch nicht schuldig äh, oder die nicht schuldig sind. They can all become Christians, Sie können right? alle Christen werden. Old Testament types are finished, New Testament begins, right? Die alttestamentlichen Typen sind zu Ende und das Neue Testament fängt an. Okay, next. Had an end of the 70 weeks. Nächste Überschrift, das Ende der 70 Wochen. Go to, because this was the midst of the week, das right? Das war die Mitte der Woche. But now it takes you to the end of the 70 weeks, Jetzt right? Jetzt bringt es dich aber zum Ende der 70 Wochen. But prophetically, they're both marking the same point, because they're both the close of probation, also right? Also prophetisch markiert das denselben Punkt, weil beides ist das Ende der Gnadenzeit. Acts 7 and verse 52. Apostelgeschichte 7 und Vers 52. Which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted? And they have slain them which showed before of the coming of the just one, of whom ye have now, have been now the betrayers and murderers. So he's pointing them back to the cross, right? Who have received the law by the disposition of angels and have not kept it. When they heard these things, they were cut to the heart, and they gnashed on him with their teeth. But he, being full of the Holy Ghost, looked up steadfastly into heaven, and saw the glory of God, and Jesus standing on the right hand of God, and said, Behold, I see the heavens opened, and the Son of Man standing on the right hand of God. Then they cried out with a loud voice and stopped their ears and ran upon him with one accord and cast him out of the city and stoned him. It's like a parallel to the cross, right? Es wie eine Parallele zum Kreuz. So literally, the rest of the Jewish nation now, right, or, or this was the official closing point of the 70 weeks, also right? buchstäblich war das der offizielle Schlusspunkt der 70 Wochen. Probation had now closed on the Jewish nation as a nation, right? Never more would God look upon them as his people. Right? So you have all this evidence in the Bible, right, and the Spirit of shows this, that they're never again to be looked upon as a subject of Bible prophecy. Deswegen gibt es all diese Beweise von der Bibel und dem Geist der Weisung, dass sie nie wieder als Thema der biblischen Prophetie betrachtet werden sollten. Right, so go to the next heading, no contradiction. Geht right? zu der nächsten Überschrift, kein Widerspruch. In John 4 und Vers 21. Johannes 4 und Vers 21. Christ is speaking to the Samaritan woman. Christus right? spricht zu der samaritischen Frau. And the Samaritans represent these apostate Protestants at the end of the world, right? Samariter, sie stellen ihm die abgefallenen Protestanten am Ende der Welt dar. Jesus saith unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh, when ye shall neither in this mountain, nor yet at Jerusalem, worship the Father. Ye worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. Right? Now people take this, right? And apply it literally, right? Also die Leute nehmen das, dass die Rettung von den Juden kommt und wenden das buchstäblich an. But it can't be talking about the literal Jews, right? Kann aber nicht über die buchstäblichen Juden sprechen. You just have to read the Bible that their their probation as a nation, as a people, was is done, right? Man muss einfach die Bibel lesen und dann kann man sehen, dass ähm, ihre Gnadenzeit als Nation äh, geschlossen ist. Now we know that all the types point to a Antitype, right? This was the, this was what the Jews didn't understand. They didn't understand what those types pointed to. Right? Had they understood what they pointed to, he would have kept because the Jewish nation 
were Christians in the making, right? Also die jüdische Nation, die waren ja, sie sollten ja Christen werden. The Jewish nation were under the Galatians 4 experience, right? Die jüdische Nation war unter der Galater 4 Erfahrung. And at the end of the Galatians 4 experience, what would they have become? Und am Ende der Galater 4 Erfahrung, zu was wären sie geworden? They would have become Christians, right? And it's true, it would have been true Jews, right? Because the next verse is Romans 2, verse 28. For he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly, neither is that circumcision which is outward in the flesh, but he is a Jew, which is one inwardly, and circumcision is that of the heart and the spirit, and not in the letter, whose praise is not of men, but of God. So he says it right here, in the spirit means the New Testament and not of the letter of the Old Testament, right? Er sagt er, dass eben, dass es im Geist ist, das meint das Neue Testament und nicht im Alten Testament nach dem Buchstaben. So the Galatians 4 experience is when you're under the Old Testament, right? Galater 4 Erfahrung ist also, wenn du unter dem Alten Testament bist. He takes you back, teaches you all the types and symbols so that you can then find Christ. Er right? bringt dich zurück und lehrt dich all der Typen und Symbole, damit du dann Christus finden kannst. So they basically rejected their Galatians 4 experience. So where did they remain? Also im Grunde haben sie ihre Galater 4 Erfahrung verworfen. Deswegen, wo sind sie geblieben? Yeah, but when, that's true, but we never mentioned that. They remained in captivity, in bondage, right? Sie sind in Gefangenschaft, in der Knechtschaft geblieben. They remained in their error, right? Sie sind in ihrem Irrtum geblieben. And I haven't put this in here, but if you just go to... Um, Romans chapter 7. Das habe ich jetzt nicht hier mit reingenommen, aber geht in euren Bibeln zu Römer Kapitel 7. And it, well, 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 let's read this and then we can mention this point. Lass right? uns das lesen und dann können wir diesen Punkt erwähnen. In verse 1. Römer 7 und Vers 1. It says, Know ye not, brethren, for I speak to them that know the law, how that the law hath dominion over a man as long as he liveth. Right? What, so what must you do for the law to have no dominion over you? You must die, right? Okay. For the, it says, for the woman which hath an husband is bound by the law. So it's a double allegory, right? Okay, in one sense, you, you, you have to die in order for the law to have no dominion over you, right? Also in einem Sinne musst du sterben, damit das Gesetz nicht mehr die Oberherrschaft über dich hat. But in this sense, he's likening his church, the, the, the Jews, to this woman, right? Aber in dem Sinne vergleicht er jetzt die, seine Gemeinde, diese Frau mit, also die Juden, äh, mit dieser Frau. And they're married to this husband, which is the law, Und sie right? sind mit diesem Ehemann verheiratet, was das Gesetz ist. For the woman which hath an husband is bound by the law to her husband so long as he liveth. But if the husband be dead, she is loose from the law of her husband. So then if while her husband liveth, she be married to another man, she shall be called an adulteress. But if her husband be dead, she is free from that law, so that she is no adulteress, though she be married to another man. Okay? So, at the cross, right, if you, if you die, the law has no more dominion over you, right? Wenn du also am Kreuz stirbst und hat das Gesetz, keine mehr, this husband is Satan, right? Is Satan. It's this law, because he uses the law because it, it constantly points out your sin and accuses you, right? And as long as you're under that law, he is accusing you every day, every moment. Right? Okay, so we're in this Galatians 4 experience, right? Who here does not feel condemned multiple times throughout the day? Wer hier fühlt sich nicht mehrmals am Tag verdammt? Now if you don't, then you, you're in some sort of darkness, right? Also wenn du dich nicht, wenn das nicht so ist, bei dir dann bist du in einer Finsternis. Because the Bible says that accuser is there accusing you constantly before Christ. Weil die Bibel sagt, dass dieser Verkläger dort ist und dich beständig vor Christus anklagt. There isn't a moment goes by that we don't have to battle against the thoughts in our minds, right? Kein Moment, der vergeht, wo wir nicht mit diesen Gedanken in unserem Kopf kämpfen müssen. Things come out of our mouth, we think, oh, that wasn't the best thing to say. I, you know, you, you have regrets, but you, you can't take it back, right? Dinge kommen aus unserem Mund und dann hat man nachher 
Also sagt man, warum habe ich das bloß gesagt, aber man kann es nicht mehr zurücknehmen. Satan's writing it all down and he's standing before the Lord accusing you, look what he said, look what he thinks, look what he did. Satan schreibt sich das alles auf und dann klagt er dich vor den Herrn an und sagt, schau, was er gesagt hat, was er gedacht hat, schau, was er tut. Yes. yes, but when that law's gone, he can't accuse you anymore, right? Also, er nimmt dich in Anspruch, aber wenn dann das Gesetz ähm, gegangen, also weg ist, dann kann er dich nicht mehr anklagen. Because when it's written in your heart, you now keep the law perfectly, right? Weil wenn es jetzt in dein Herz geschrieben ist, dann hältst du das Gesetz vollkommen. Dabei. That's the true Jew, right? Das ist der wahre Jude. Yes. Richtig. And this is what they didn't get. Und das right? haben sie eben nicht begriffen. And because they rejected the truth, they could never be the true Jewish people, right? Und weil sie die Wahrheit verworfen haben, konnten sie nicht die, die wahren Juden sein. As a nation, they were doomed, right? Als Nation ähm, waren sie dem Untergang. But as individuals, depending on what they had accepted or rejected, they could still be saved, Aber right? Also als Individuen konnten sie abhängig davon, was sie verworfen und angenommen hatten, noch gerettet werden. And go to Romans chapter 9, and Paul explains this again, right? Geht zu Römer Kapitel 9, da erklärt Paulus das wieder. It says, I say the truth in Christ, I lie not, my conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost, that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were accursed from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen according to the flesh. This is the true spirit, right? It's the wahre Geist. It's the spirit of love for his brethren that are in error, right? It's the Geist um, für die Liebe, also für seine Geist, Geist der Liebe. Geist der Liebe für seine Geschwister, die im Irrtum sind. He doesn't hate them, he loves them, right? Also er hasst sie nicht, sondern liebt sie. And he wants to do anything, even put his own life on the line to save them, Man right? Möchte alles tun sogar sein eigenes Leben, Leben auf Spiel setzen, um sie zu retten. It says, who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of God and the promises, whose are the fathers and of whom, as concerning the flesh, Christ came, who is over all, God bless forever, Amen. Not as though the word of God hath taken none effect. For they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. So he, he says all those things written were pertaining to the Jews. Er sagt also alle Dinge, die aufgeschrieben wurden, die gehörten den Juden. But he says that the word of God didn't lie. Aber right? er sagt, das Wort Gottes hat nicht gelogen. He says, for they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. So he's now explaining that those words written weren't written for all of them. They were written for those that accepted the understanding of them, right? So nicht alle Israel, die von Israel sind. Deswegen hat er gesagt, die Sachen, die aufgeschrieben sind, sind also nicht ähm, auf, also für alle, sondern nur diejenigen, die das angenommen haben, das Verständnis haben. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children, but in Isaac shall thy seed be called. That is, they which are the children of the flesh, these are not the children of God, but the children of the promise are counted for the seed. Right? So the children of the flesh, the literal inheritance that was born into this tribe of Judah, they are not the seed, right? Kinder des Fleisches, also diese buchstäblichen Nachkommen, die in diesem Tribe, der, diesem Stamm von Judah geboren sind, sie sind nicht der Samen. They are not the children of God. Sie sind nicht die Kinder Gottes. But only those that fulfill the requirements in order to fulfill the promise, right? Diejenigen, die die Bedingungen erfüllen, damit sie die Verheißung erhalten können. What was the promise? Was war die Verheißung? The promise is that a savior would come and put enmity in their hearts against falsehoods, right? Die Verheißung war, dass ein Retter kommen würde und Feindschaft in das Herz gegen Falschheiten setzen würde, richtig? And and that savior came to change their hearts from falsehood to truth and they rejected him. Dieser Retter kam um ihre Herzen von dem Irrtum zur Wahrheit zu führen und sie haben ihn aber verworfen. And hence they fulfilled scripture. Deswegen right? haben sie dann die Schrift erfüllt. Okay. Go to Galatians chapter 4 verse 22. Geht zu Galater 4 und Vers 22. For it is written that Abraham and this is this where the seed comes from, also right? Abraham daher kommt der Samen. Says the children of the flesh are not 
the children of, of promise, right? Er sagt, die Kinder des Fleisches sind nicht die Kinder der Verheißung. For it is written, yeah, of God. Also, die Kinder Gottes. For it is written that Abraham had two sons, the one by a bondmaid, the other by a free woman. But he who was of the bondwoman was born after the flesh, and they are not the children of God. Right? Sie waren nach dem Fleisch geboren, und sie sind nicht die Kinder Gottes. Right? Because they came from, they, they are born in Egypt. Weil sie sind in Ägypten geboren. Right? So if you don't come out of Egypt, you remain in Egypt. Wenn du right? nicht aus Ägypten herauskommst, bleibst du in Ägypten. He who was of the bond woman was born after the flesh, but he of the free woman was by promise. There's the same thing Paul was talking about, das right? Dasselbe, worüber Paulus gesprochen hat. Which things are an allegory, for these are the two covenants. The one from the Mount Sinai, which gendereth to bondage, which is eager. So if you remain in the old covenant, you're in bondage, right? Wenn du im alten Bund bleibst, dann bist du in Knechtschaft. You remained in Egypt. Du oder du bist in Ägypten geblieben. You didn't understand what those things pointed to, right? Du hast nicht verstanden, auf was diese Dinge hindeuten sollen. For this he got is Mount Sinai in Arabia and answereth to Jerusalem, which now is and is in bondage with her children. So he says it very clearly that this Jerusalem, right here, these Jewish people are in bondage. Er sagt klar, dass dieses Jerusalem, diese jüdischen Leute sind in Knechtschaft. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free. So which Jerusalem is he pointing to now? Auf welches Jerusalem weist er jetzt hin? Yes, they did. Because their names are written where? Weil ihre Namen sind wo geschrieben? In heaven, right? Im Himmel. And that's the point, right? That when their names are written in heaven, where are they written? Punkt ist, wenn dein Name im Himmel geschrieben ist, wo steht er dann geschrieben? On the temple, right? Auf dem Tempel. True Jerusalem. Das wahre Jerusalem. Twelve tribes, twelve disciples, right? Zwölf Stämme, zwölf Jünger. Right? Richtig. Okay, so that's the difference, right? Das ist der Unterschied. They, 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 those Jews, even back in his time, he says they are in bondage, right? Die Juden, also selbst in seiner Zeit hat er eben gesagt, sie sind in Knechtschaft. They are not the Jews of Bible prophecy. Sie sind nicht die Juden der biblischen Prophetie. Because they have rejected Christ. Weil sie right? haben Christus verworfen. And therefore the Jews of Bible prophecy are Christians. Deswegen right? sind die Juden der biblischen Prophetie Christen. And all history is going to be repeated, right? Die ganze Geschichte wird sich wiederholen. Okay, because um, when you go to John 8, 31, wenn ihr zu Johannes 8, Vers 31 geht, It says, then said Jesus to those Jews, which what? Believed on him. Sie haben an ihn geglaubt. If you continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. So you must continue in the truth to be his disciples, right? Also in der Wahrheit fortfahren, um seine Jünger zu sein. So when you have the first birth, what must you do? Wenn du die erste Geburt hast, was musst du tun? Continue in my word, right? In seinem Wort äh, fortfahren. It says, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free, right? So Christ was the truth, right? Christus war also die Wahrheit. Except him, your names are written in heaven, Wenn right? Wenn du ihn annimmst, wird dein Name im Himmel geschrieben. You're the free Jerusalem, du bist right? Das freie Jerusalem. You're not remained in bondage, right? Du bist right? nicht in der Knechtschaft geblieben. And if you go to Galatians 3 and verse 26, Und wenn ihr zu Galater 3, Vers 26 geht, It says, for ye are all the children of God by... Faith in Christ Jesus. For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. So if you're baptized into Christ, what have you done? Wenn du also in Christus getauft wurdest, was hast du getan? You came du bist out of Egypt. Aus Ägypten gekommen. You're no longer part of this bond woman, du bist right? Nicht mehr Teil von dieser Markt. You're the children of promise, right? Die Kinder der Verheißung. You've not remained the, the, the children of bondage, right? Nicht, ähm, also du bleibst jetzt nicht diese Kinder der Knechtschaft. It was just an allegory, das right? Das war einfach nur eine Allegorie. The whole Jewish nation was an allegory. It wasn't the, the, the fulfillment, die right? Die ganze jüdische Nation war nur eine Allegorie. Das war noch nicht die Erfüllung. It says, there is neither Jew nor Greek, There is neither bond nor free, there is neither male nor female, for ye are all one in Christ Jesus. This is the fulfillment 
of all those promises, right? Vers 28, das ist die Erfüllung von all diesen Verheißungen. And if you be Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. This was the seed that was promised to Abraham that would come out of Egypt. Das war der Same, dem Abraham verheißen wurde, der aus Ägypten kommen sollte. When the Jews came out of Egypt, it was just an allegory, right? Als die Juden aus Ägypten rauskamen, war das nur eine Allegorie. That's why he says in Romans 9, he says that all, they're not all Israel, which are of us Israel. Deswegen hat er in Römer 9 gesagt, sie sind nicht alle Israel, die von Israel sind. Only those that accepted and understood the truth, nur right? Nur diejenigen, die die Wahrheit angenommen und verstanden haben. Okay, next, uh, had in history to be repeated. Nächste Überschrift, die Geschichte soll sich wiederholen. In 1 Corinthians 15, 46. 1. Korinther 15, Vers 46. How be it that was not first which is spiritual, but that which is natural, and afterward that which is spiritual, right? There we have it, right? So the Jewish nation, and not everything that happened in the past, must come first. Right? Dass die jüdische Nation und alles, was in der Geschichte passiert ist, die muss, das muss zuerst kommen. So, at the end of the world, who are the spiritual Jews? Am Ende der Welt, wer sind die geistlichen Juden? Seventh-day Adventists. Siebenten Tags Adventists. Brings us back to our first quote. Das right? bringt uns wieder zurück zu dem ersten Zitat. How Satan would exult to have Seventh-day Adventists, right, the very people who are the expositors of the truth at the end of the world, Turn back to Babylon, right? Also wie Satan sich freuen würde, wenn ähm, die sieben Tagsadventisten, also die Leute, die die Bewahrer seiner Wahrheit sind, ähm, dass sie dann zu Babylon werden. In 1. Korinther 10 und Vers 11. Und 1. Korinther 10 und Vers 11. Paul speaks about the history of the Jewish nation. Da right? spricht Paulus über die Geschichte der jüdischen Nation. It says, now all these things happened unto them for in samples, they were a type, they were an allegory, right? Beispiele, sie waren eben ein Typus, sie waren eine Allegorie. And they are written for our admonition upon whom the ends of the world are come. So at the end of the world, Seventh-day Adventist Church is the Jewish nation that's going to repeat, or is the, is what the Jewish nation pointed to that's going to repeat those sins, right? Also am Ende der Welt, da ist die siebten Tags Adventgemeinde, das, worauf die jüdische Nation gewiesen hat, und sie werden diese Sünden wiederholen. Okay, so when we go now to Romans 9, wenn wir jetzt zu Römer 9 gehen, Vers 14. Vers 14, What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbid, for he saith to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then, it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of God that showeth mercy. For the scripture saith to Pharaoh, Even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. So what did Pharaoh do in history? Was hat der Pharao in der Geschichte Prevented gemacht? the Jews from keeping the Sabbath, der right? Hat die Juden davon abgehalten, den Sabbath zu Because halten. this is what Pharaoh he's referencing, Und right? Diesen Pharao bezieht er sich. He says, Therefore hath he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will he hardeneth. Right? Because every time those plagues fell, Pharaoh's heart was hardened, right? Ja, jedes Mal, als diese Plagen fielen, da hat sich das Herz von dem Pharao verhärtet. But Pharaoh hardened his own heart. Ja, aber right? der Pharao hat sein eigenes Herz verhärtet. It says, Thou wilt say then unto me, Why doth he yet find fault? For who hath resisted his will? Nay, but, O man, who art thou that repliest against God? Shall the thing formed say to him that formed it, Why hast thou made me thus? Hath not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor. Now the people that read this literally, they say, see, God made a specific people for his purpose and the rest he made just to destroy. Also die Leute, right? die das lesen, ähm, also manche sagen dann, äh, er hat eben dieses Volk als sein Volk eben geformt und die anderen hat er zur Zerstörung gemacht. But he contradicts the Bible, right? Und das widerspricht der Bibel. Because it says Jesus would have all men be saved and all come to a knowledge of the truth, right? 
Gott möchte, dass alle gerettet werden und zu der Erkenntnis der Wahrheit kommen. In Vers 22, it explains it, right? Vers 22 erklärt er das. Es sagt, was if God willing to show his wrath and to make his power known endured with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction. So what did he do before they fulfilled what he knew that they would fulfill? Was hat er also getan, bevor sie das erfüllt haben, wovon er wusste, sie erfüllen würden? He labored long with them, trying to bring them to repentance, right? Er hat lange mit ihnen gerungen und hat versucht, sie zur Buße zu führen. But he knew long before they were even made that they wouldn't repent, right? Er wusste schon lange, bevor sie ge also dazu geschaffen wurden, dass sie nicht Buße tun würden. Therefore, he ordained, he ordained that they would manifest his glory, right? Deswegen hat er bestimmt, dass sie seine Herrlichkeit manifestieren. Because he would use them to show what he will do to those that don't repent, right? Er würde sie benutzen, um zu zeigen, was ähm, mit denen passiert, die nicht Buße tun. And that he might make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy. So the ones on mercy are the ones that repent, right? Der Gnade sind diejenigen, die Buße tun. The ones that wrath are the ones that don't repent. Diejenigen des Zorns, die sind uh, diejenigen, die eben nicht Buße tun. And they all made a choice. Und jeder right? hat eine Entscheidung getroffen. The Lord's not choosing for them. He, he wants them to choose right, but they don't choose right. Der Herr entscheidet nicht für sie. Er möchte, dass sie sich richtig entscheiden, aber sie entscheiden sich nicht richtig. And he knows all who's going to be saved and who's not going to be saved before the world was even begun, right? Und er wusste schon, wer gerettet und wer nicht gerettet werden würde, bevor die Welt überhaupt angefangen hat. That's why he wrote these promises, right? Deswegen hat er diese Verheißungen geschrieben. Knowing that the Jews would reject his mercy, Er right? wusste, dass die Juden seine äh, Gnade verwerfen werden. Therefore those promises were never written for them. Deswegen wurden diese Verheißungen nie für sie geschrieben. They were written for all those that would accept the truth. Die waren right? für diejenigen geschrieben, die die Wahrheit annehmen würden. They were never ever written for this Jewish nation that's sitting there in Palestine. Sie wurde wurden nie und niemals aufgeschrieben für diese jüdische Nation, die jetzt in Palästina ist. Okay. And verse 24. It says, Even us whom he hath called, not of the Jews only, but also the Gentiles. As he saith also in Osi, that's Hosea, I will call them my people, which were not my people, and her beloved, which was not beloved. Verse 30. What shall we say then, that the Gentiles, which followed not after righteousness, have attained to righteousness? even the righteousness which is of faith. But Israel, which followed after the law of righteousness, hath not attained to the law of righteousness. Wherefore? Because they sought it not by faith, but as it were by the works of the law. For they stumbled at that stumbling stone. As it is written, Behold, I lay in Zion a stumbling stone and a rock of offense, and whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. Now, brothers and sisters, the Jewish nation was just an allegory for Seventh-day Adventists, right? Also, Geschwister, die jüdische Nation war nur eine Allegorie für Siebenten Tags Adventisten. And specifically, which Seventh-day Adventists? Und spezifisch, welche Siebenten Tags Adventisten? Sorry? Yes, the movement. Why? Bewegung. Because all the parables are speaking about the movement. So it comes back to this little movement right here, right? And you take this movement right back to 9-11. You have this people that all the promises are pointed to, right? But this, those verses must be fulfilled. Aber diese Verse müssen erfüllt werden. They're not all Israel, which are of Israel. Sie sind right? nicht alle Israel, die von Israel sind. Because many will reject the truth. Weil right? viele werden die Wahrheit verwerfen. Many will try to work their way to heaven rather than humble themselves and accept the promises by faith. Viele right? werden versuchen, sich den, also zum Himmel zu den Himmel zu erarbeiten, anstatt dass sie diese Verheißung, sich demütigen, diese Verheißungen im Glauben annehmen. Okay, it says, as it is written, Behold, I lay in Zion a stumbling stone and a rock of offense, and whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. So we need to not be looking 
those literal Jews, we need to be looking at here, right in what's happening in this movement, right? Wir also nicht auf diese buchstäblichen Juden blicken, sondern auf hier, was in dieser Bewegung passiert. Go to Acts 13, Vers 42. Geht zu Apostelgeschichte 13, Vers 42. And when the Jews were gone out of the synagogue, the Gentiles besought that these words might be preached to them the next Sabbath. Now when the congregation was broken up, many of the Jews and religious proselytes followed Paul and Barnabas, who speaking to them persuaded them to continue in the grace of God. And the next Sabbath day came almost the whole city together to hear the word of God. But when the Jews saw the multitudes, they were what? They were jealous, Sie waren right? They were filled with envy, right? And speak against those things which were spoken by Paul, contradicting and blaspheming, right? Because they had rejected the truth, right? Sie haben die Wahrheit verworfen. Then Paul and Barnabas waxed bold and said, It was necessary that the word of God should first have been spoken to you. Now we're at the end of the world. Who are Paul and Barnabas? Wir sind am Ende der Welt, das wär's Paulus und Barnabas. People that are preaching the truth in this movement, right? Leute, die die Bewegung, also äh, die die Wahrheit von dieser Bewegung predigen. Okay, and it says, It is necessary that the word of God should first have been spoken to you, but seeing you put it from you, and judge yourselves unworthy of everlasting life, lo, we turn to the Gentiles, right? Wir wenden uns zu den Heiden. Now this is, this test coming upon us, right? Dieser Test kommt auf uns. It is going to be seen here who has faith, es right? Wird gesehen werden, wer Glaube hat. And when we get here, Paul and Barnabas' words will be fulfilled, right? Because it will be seen here who was not worthy of this truth and who is it going to go to? Gentiles. To the Gentiles, right? Baker and the butler. Right. And then that will just repeat here, right? After the second test, right? It's the same principle, right? Okay, it says, For so hath the Lord commanded us, saying, I have set thee a light, uh, to be a light of the Gentiles, that thou shouldest be for salvation unto the ends of the earth. And when the Gentiles heard this, they were glad, and glorify the word of the Lord, and as many as were ordained to eternal life believed. This is the seed of Abraham. Das ist der Same Abraham. These were the ones in Hosea says, they shall be my people which were not my people. These are all this, this the stars of the heaven for multitude, right? So viel wie die Sterne am Himmel sind. These were the children that were promised to Abraham, right? Das sind die Kinder, die dem Abraham verheißen Because waren. these are the ones that have come out of Egypt, Weil right? das sind diejenigen, die aus Ägypten gekommen sind. So go to Romans 11 and verse 1. Geh zu Römer 11 und Vers 1. I say then, hath God cast away his people? God forbid. For I am also, for I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. So it's Paul's true, right? He's literally from the original seed, right? But he accepted the truth, right? God hath not cast away his people which he foreknew. What ye not what this scripture saith of Elias, how he maketh intercession to God against Israel, saying, Lord, they have killed thy prophets and digged down thine altars, and I am left alone, and they seek my life. But what saith the answer of God unto him? I have reserved to myself seven thousand men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. That was the threefold union, right? Das war die union. Okay. But it was literally his own people, literally in his time, right? Even so then, at this present time also, there is a remnant according to the election of grace. And if by grace, then it is no more of works, otherwise grace is no more grace. But if it be of works, then it is no more grace, otherwise work is no more work. <laughs> what then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. 
According as it is written, God hath given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. And David saith, Let their table be made a snare, and a trap, and a stumbling block, and a recompense unto them. And the Jews have been like that ever since. Right? Die Juden waren so, also seit diesem Punkt. Vers 10. Also Vers 10. Just also to, to explain, because he says, uh, verse 1, right, have God cast away his people, God forbid. And because there were, as he says, a remnant of Jews that were not cast away because they accepted Christ, but the rest, they were cut off. Well, it's not just the remnant that, that he's talking about. It's talking about the, the perfect fulfillment of those verses. He's trying to tell them that They're, they're not the fulfillment of those verses, but he points to himself to show just from a literal aspect, look, I, I was a literal Jew because not all the literal Jews had been cast away, right? There was those that accepted the truth, mm -hmm. only those that didn't accept it were gone. Right? Mm -hmm. So the remnant was not cast off, but the other were cast off. That's what he means. The remnant were not cast off. Yes, but the remnant is not just Paul. No, no, no. All those accepted. Yeah, all those accepted. Yes. Okay. Also der Überrest, also Gott hat in Vers 1 steht ja, hat Gott sein Volk verworfen. Also das ist eben ähm, dieser, also der Überrest wurde nicht verworfen. Und Paulus hat ja, wollte damit zeigen, dass obwohl er, also er wollte auf die vollständige Erfüllung zeigen, aber obwohl er selbst äh, ein buchstäblicher Israelit war, also er stellt den Überrest ab. All those that accept. Also nicht nur er stellt den Überrest da, sondern all diejenigen, die Christus annehmen. Okay, look. Jerusalem and Babylon, right? Jerusalem and Babylon. The Lord starts with the people, right? Because he wants this people to be a light, to draw this people to this, right? Herr fängt mit diesem Volk an, weil er möchte, dass sie dann ein Licht werden, um dieses Volk zu ihnen zu führen. Satan's attacks is always on this people, because if he can dis He can disrupt them, he won't win them. Right? Satan's Angriff is immer auf diesem Volk, weil wenn er sie ähm, entzweigen kann oder zerstören kann, dann werden die nicht dazu kommen können. So, from this, there's only a small segment that will be that light that was promised, right? Von denen wird nur ein kleines äh, Segment dann diejenigen sein, die dieses Licht sein werden. And they become this, right? Und sie, also die hier werden dann das. Whereas there is a larger segment gegen ein größerer äh, ein größeres Segment ist from Babylon that will join them, right? Von Babylon und sie werden sich ihnen anschließen. There's always this, this swap, right? Und immer diesen Austausch. Die And when the swap is complete That's the fulfillment of those promises, right? The promises was never pointing to them. It was always pointing to this people that God knew would accept the truth and join here, right? Paul was just one of the original ones that accepted the truth, right? Paulus war einfach nur ein von den ursprünglichen, die dann die Wahrheit angenommen haben. Okay. Also von mir zu den Jews, aber auch zu den Remnant von den Jews. Promises. Wie uh, meinst du das? Ja, das Election, weil er über die Election spricht, weil Paul und all those Jews, die Christus angenommen haben, zu ihnen die Promises auch gepunktet haben. Du meinst in Vers 7? Ja, in Vers 7. Du sprichst über die, die Those that are part of the promises at the end of the world, they accepted it and the rest were blinded. Yes, yes no, I'm not going to deny that. Also, die in Vers 7, um, die sind eben auch Teil davon, also auf die deuten auch die Verheißungen hin. There, there, there had to be a rest, right? Da musste eben ein Überrest sein. If there was none of those left, what would have happened? Wenn es keinen von denen übrig geblieben wären, was wäre geschehen? Well, he said he would raise up stones, right? Er sagt, dann würde er Steine aufrichten. Okay, but the point was that He ordained it that it would of salvation was of the Jews. Right? But it was only those Jews that were born again. Right? And everybody that joined to them became 
a Jew, right? Jeder, der sich ihnen angeschlossen hat, wurde ein Jude. So you can say salvation is of the Seventh Day Adventist Church, right? Also kann man sagen, die Rettung kommt von der siebenten Tags Adventgemeinde. Is all the Seventh Day Adventist Church going to be saved? Wird die ganze Adventgemeinde gerettet? Werden? No, majority are going to be lost. Nein, die Mehrheit wird verloren gehen. But everybody that joins to them will become a Seventh Day Adventist. Aber jeder, right? der sich ihnen anschließt, wird ein siebenten Tags Adventist werden. And everybody that joins, they are the fulfillment of all these promises. Jeder, right? der sich ihnen anschließt, ist dann die Erfüllung von diesen Verheißungen. Okay, so go back, go to verse 10, that's where we are nearly finished. Geht zu Vers 10, wir sind bald zu Ende. It says, Let their eyes be darkened, that they may not see, and bow their back always. I say then, have they stumbled, that they should fall? God forbid, but rather through their fall salvation has come to the Gentiles for to provoke them to jealousy. This is what we read in Acts 13, right? Das haben wir in der Apostelgeschichte 13 gelesen. Now if the fall of them be the riches of the world and the diminishing of them be the riches of the Gentiles, how much more their fullness? For I speak to you Gentiles and as much as I am the apostle of the Gentiles, I magnify my office. If by any means I may provoke to emulation them which are my flesh, and might save some of them. So the purpose of all these Gentiles coming in is to provoke the ones that still have an opportunity to be jealous, right? Das zeigt, dass all die Heiden reinkommen, ist, dass diejenigen, die noch immer eine Möglichkeit haben, dass sie zur Eifersucht gereizt werden dadurch. That's why in these time periods here and also here, there will be the ones that were... Um, the ones that were blinded but they're not guilty, they still have an opportunity to come in. Right? We go to verse 20. It says, Well, because of unbelief they were broken off, and thou standest by faith, be not high minded but fear. For if God spared not the natural branches, take heed, lest he also spare not thee. It's the same for everybody, right? It's the same for everyone. It's the same plan of salvation, It's right? It's the same plan of salvation. It says, um, Behold therefore the goodness and severity of God on them which fell, severity but toward thee goodness. If thou continue in his goodness, otherwise thou also shall be cut off. And they also, if they abide not still in unbelief, shall be grafted in, for God is able to graft them in again. And he's not talking about the literal Jews back in history. He's talking about people that were people that were once part of the truth at the end of the world but have fallen from it. Right? Okay, but are, but are not guilty. They've been deceived, right? And he gives them an opportunity. If they receive the truth before the close of probation, they will be grafted back in again. Right? So you have the destruction of Jerusalem. But if they come back in before the stone in a Stephen, they'll be saved, right? Wenn sie vor der Steinigung von Stephanus hereinkommen, dann werden sie gerettet werden. Okay. So, last two quotes and then we'll close. Die letzten zwei Zitate, dann werden wir abschließen. The question has been asked: Will religious bigotry and fanaticism ever induce religionists of this age to do as did the Jewish nation? It seems impossible that we, who's we? Seventh-day Adventists, the movement, right? Shall ever reject Christ and accept Barabbas? Shall we be guilty of a sin similar to the Jews and cry out, not this man, but Barabbas? It seems an impossibility. Men may say, never, I can never reject my Savior, disown Christ. But they are to do this very thing. Priests and rulers will bring about just such an issue and history will be repeated. Right? History will be repeated right amongst us. Right? Die Geschichte wird sich hier unter uns wiederholen. Last quote. Letztes Zitat. Among the professed children of God, how little patience has been manifested. How many bitter words have been spoken. How much denunciation has been uttered against those not of our faith. 
Many have looked upon those belonging to other churches as great sinners when the Lord does not regard them, thus regard them. Those who look thus upon the members of other churches have need to humble themselves under the mighty hand of God. Those whom they condemn may have had but little light, few opportunities and privileges. If they had had the light that many of the members of our churches have had, they might have advanced at a far greater rate and have had better represented their faith to the world. Of those who boast of their light and yet fail to walk in it, Christ says, But I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon in the day of judgment than for you. And thou Capernaum, seventh-day Adventists, who have had great light, which are exalted unto heaven in point of privilege, shall be brought down to hell. For if the mighty works which have been done in thee had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I say unto you that it shall be no that it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom in the day of judgment than for thee. At that time Jesus answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent in their own estimation and hast revealed them unto babes. It's talking about if you reject the revelation, right? You reject that revelation, then those sodomites, right, that we view as sodomites, mm -hmm. right, will have more chance and many of them will be saved. Right. So I, I hope this will help us to realize that the focus is on us. Right? Not on this little Jewish nation. Right? And we need to be able to arm ourselves to rebuke any folly of Especially Seventh-day Adventists pointed to literal Israel as a subject of Bible prophecy. Right? Also in Romans 11, uh, you somehow left out the two verses at the end there, verse 25 and 26. Because that explains when the Gentiles will join, then they become part of Israel. Which verses do you say? 25, 26? 25, 26. Römer 11, Vers 25 and 26. It says, For I would not, brethren, that ye should be ignorant of this mystery, lest ye should be wise in your own conceits, that blindness in part has happened to Israel. So all those that got caught off, they got blindness, right? Mm -hmm. so. Until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in. So that's now when the Gentiles replace those that got cut off. Yes. And so all Israel shall be saved. It is written, There shall come out of Zion the deliverer and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. So when the Gentiles now join, they join this remnant there and now they are all considered the Israel. Israel. Yes. When the Heiden um, sich then dem anschließen, then sind sie dieser Überrest und sie alle werden als Israel betrachtet. And they join to the remnant. Uh, sie the... schließen sich dem Überrest an. And they are then Israel. And sie sind dann Israel. Yeah, and so when we get to the end here, the light that's going to go forward here will be the first joining together of two sticks, right? And um, deswegen, when we here am Ende come and das Licht dann vorwärts geht, dann ist das das erste Mal, wenn die zwei Stöcke verbunden wurden. And they will be the first people of Israel. Und das right? werden die ersten Leute von Israel werden. At the end of the world. Am Ende der Welt. Amen. Amen. Okay, shall we close with our closing hymn, which is 115.